So a lot of times when you connect a Cricut Explorer machine to your Windows computer and you go into design space and try to use the Explorer as you do your design, you get all the way to the, uh, you click the go button and get to the screen where you're going to cut your material, it will say it cannot find your Explorer. It'll say something like plug in and turn on your Explorer and no matter what you do, it will not recognize it. And when you unplug it and plug it in with the USB cord, your computer will make the sound like it's detecting that it's being plugged in and unplugged, but Design Space simply will not see it. And this is usually because the drivers do not install properly for some reason. And I'm going to show you how to fix that. Now, I'm using Windows 7, uh, but Windows 7, Windows 8, and even Windows 10, I think, should be pretty much the same thing uh, with this, and even Windows Vista as well. So you should be able to use this as a guide to fix your driver problems in any of those operating systems. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to go into Control Panel. And in Windows 7, of course, you click the Start button and go to Control Panel. On Windows 8, you will right click on the Start button and go into Control Panel. And we are going to go to the System icon. And then we're going to click on Device Manager. Now you can also get to device manager by holding the, I'll close this and show you, you can hold down your Windows key and press the pause key on your keyboard and get to your system settings that way as well. And we're going to click on device manager and I'll close this so that we can concentrate on this one window. And if I look under COM ports, in my system, the Cricut Explorer is installed properly. Now, a lot of times on Windows systems, you'll see an other devices listed, and your Cricut Explorer will be listed under that, which means your driver's not installed properly. Now, I will show you how to get around this. I don't have the actual problem, so but I can still show you how to do this with the uh, Cricut Explorer uh, driver that we have here. And so under the one that says other devices, you're going to right click on it and you're going to click update driver software. Try the search automatically for updated driver software first. A lot of times it will find it and install it and be fine after that. If that does not find it, you want to click on browse my computer. And when you get the search box, you want to type in the following percent app data percent and then click your browse button. You want to leave this include subfolders checked. And you should see that it pulls up this app data folder and under it will be roaming. And you want to expand the roaming by clicking the little arrow. And then under that, scroll down until you see Cricut Design Space and expand that. And then select drivers and hit OK. And you should see a path similar to this in your search box. And it will usually say your C drive, users, and then your username. In my case, it's Troy. And then app data, roaming, Cricut Design Space, drivers. And again, this includes subfolders box should be checked. And you can click next. And you will be shown an appropriate driver. And if you click close, it should install the driver for you. So hopefully this will take care of that for you. Once it's showing up under uh, the proper settings and not showing under other devices anymore, you should be able to close that, launch your browser and log into Design Space and it should work normally after that. If you're interested in my support services or consulting services, please visit my website at www.troyyoung.com for most current pricing information. Additionally, you can go to patreon.com slash Troy Young to help support my channel. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.